What's going on guys, Nathan here. Today I wanna to talk about how I finally learned to crush the small stakes poker games. Today I'm gonna to walk you through a step-by-step -step example hand showing you specifically how to exploit the weaker poker player types. And I'm also gonna give you two different river cards to show you exactly how I use this strategy, how my strategy differs depending on the river card. So make sure you stick around to the end for that. Let's jump into it. All right guys, so as mentioned, the number one way I was able to finally learn to start crushing the small stakes games as a 10 plus year professional traveling the world for over 10 years now for those of you guys who know my story is by learning how to exploit the weaker poker players to the maximum guys small stakes poker games are full of bad poker players whether you play in home games at the casino or online there's a lot of good poker players too but the biggest key to my success has been learning how to beat the players who play all sorts of trashy hands call you down with any pair chase every single draw I think you know what I'm talking about if you played poker for any amount of time so we're gonna focus specifically on that player type in today's video I lovingly refer to these players as the fish I'm not the most politically correct poker player out there so let's jump into the hand here you've got ace queen offsuit ace of hearts queen of clubs in middle position in a one dollar two dollar cash game you raise it up to six dollars and a fish calls you in the big blind totally standard situation. I'm not going to break this down in too much further detail. I've discussed at length in these videos exactly what hands to play. I also have a free poker cheat sheet with charts and diagrams showing you exactly what hands to play. That will be the top link in the description below. But the flop comes down with the ace of hearts, king of spades, and nine of clubs. What should you do? Fish checks to us in this spot and of course we have nothing on this board. This is a difficult spot for a lot of people so let's talk about it right now. What you need to know is that a flop C bet equals instant profit. And I'm gonna break this down for you in detail here. So as mentioned, eight, king, nine is not a good flop on any universe for our hand ace queen. But guys, what you need to know is that even fish fold sometimes. I have actually checked the data in my HUD poker tracker software that I use for online poker. Once again, I'll link that up in the description below. And even fish fold around 30%, 40% of the time when you make a flop C bet. And I should define a flop C bet, by the way, that stands for continuation bet. You are continuing the aggression you've built before the flop, you raised free flop, and now you're gonna bet on the flop as well. This is a strong play in poker because you are leaning on your opponent. You're basically forcing them to have some sort of hand. And since a random hand will miss the flop two out of three times, on average, I think you can see where we're going here. We know that this player does not have anything on this board most of the time. So even though we don't have anything, that actually doesn't really matter. So you want to make a flop continuation bet on a board like this most of the time and I would recommend betting around 50% of the pot. So if the pot is $10 for example, bet $5. Once again, this will turn an immediate profit because even fish are going to fold a certain amount of the time and we're only betting a small amount. You shouldn't even think of this as a bluff. This is just a standard play but it's not an interesting video of course if the fish just folds right now. So the fish calls, let's go see the turn. So so the turn is all about hitting the brakes on specific cards and this is one of them the seven of diamonds this card really does absolutely nothing for our hand once again we have ace queen and this hand also crucially completes a couple of draws like for example a jack 10 just made the straight now the unlikely five six also made the straight but remember we're playing against a fish here they can have literally anything so the fish checks to you in this spot what should you do well i would recommend checking behind here the biggest mistake that a lot of people will make here is trying to force this player to fold in a situation like this. Guys, what do we know about fish? They play tons of hands and we also know that they don't like to fold anything. This player is going to be playing all sorts of ridiculously terrible hands like an eight deuce offsuit. That was bottom pair in the flop. King three offsuit. By the way, when I say offsuit, that means both cards are two different suits. That was top pair in the flop with a bad kicker. Uh, nine five suited. I mean, fish will play all of these hands and countless more. And when you bet here on the turn, guys, they're not folding any of these. And you're just gonna wind up getting yourself frustrated because they're gonna call you down with some terrible hand like eight deuce, and it's going to put you on tilt and potentially cause you to play poorly in future hands. So guys, please understand, do not try to force a player like this, a bad poker player who does not like to fold. When they call you on the flop, guys, they have something, they have a draw, they have a pair of some sort, and they're not going to fold, especially on a card like this, which it completes some two pairs, they could have had 
had a hand like eight seven for example so since fish don't fold we want to check behind here and save ourselves some money so let's go see the river now all right so as mentioned we're going to talk about two different river cards here so that i can fully explain my strategy for you here in the first river we are going to hit our pair queen of hearts falls on the river what should you do you should value bet with your ace queen 75 percent of the pot so say the pot is a hundred dollars for example you should bet 75 dollars in this situation why do we bet so much and what is a value bet well value bet is a bet in poker when you believe you have the best hand and remember the player type here a fish who has tons of different hands yes they can have a king but that is only a small part of their range we already talked about how they can have an eight they can have a nine they can have a seven they could have some sort of draw they could have a small pocket pair like a pocket sixes for example we are beating all of these hands they could even have a worse queen they could have queen jack they could have queen 10 we beat these hands as well because of course we have the ace kicker so this is a spot where you want to make a value bet because there is a strong belief that we are going to have the best hand here and you also want to bet big this is where a lot of people go wrong they'll only bet 50 percent of the pot they'll only bet 25 percent of the pot guys you are shooting yourself in the foot by not making this player pay in this situation bet big bet 75 percent of the pot heck even bet pot or over bet as i talk about in my first poker book when i get these players on tilt i often use an over betting strategy but that is a topic for another video that i've actually covered in previous videos by the way as well but let's talk about river two now because a lot of people ask me well nathan what do you do though when you don't hit anything which is of course going to happen most of the time so in river scenario number two the four of hearts falls what should you do guys again this is the spot where you just want to be checking and giving up waving the white flag the biggest mistake that a lot of people make here again is trying to force it aka making a bluff versus a player who does not like to fold guys when you make the bet and they snap call you with their king three with their eight deuce with their seven five with their four five they hit the four on the river you're not only are you going to lose the pot but once again you're going to put yourself on tilt this is the biggest reason why a lot of people don't have success in poker i should mention tilt by the way is when you get frustrated and you start playing poorly because of that you start playing in an emotional state rather than a logical rational state and so not only do you lose the hand and lose more money but you also screw yourself over for future hands because you're going to be angry at this player now because they play such terrible hands and call you down with terrible hands so guys the biggest thing that i want you to learn from this video is you want to play these players literally like a fiddle when you have the best hand bet big when you don't have anything just check and give up don't try to force it versus these players they're very simple to play against guys you get big value when you got the big hand and you just give up when you don't have anything that is literally how i've been able to create some of the highest winnings of all time in small stakes games find these kind of players get on their left if you possibly can so you got position on them and play a very exploitative style as i talk about again in my first poker book guys like and subscribe if you found this video helpful and by the way if you want to know my entire strategy to crush the small stakes poker games make sure you grab a copy of my free poker cheat sheet i will link that up as the top link in the description below you can read it in an afternoon and once again it's totally free and i'll show you what hands to play when to bet raise shove all that kind of good stuff thanks a lot for watching guys i hope this one was helpful this has been nathan williams with black rain 79 i will catch you next time